I'm a long haired guy. I, I have long hair. And I, I've been noticing that when I go shopping for hair ties, they're always in the women's section. It doesn't really bother me, but it got me thinking, like, I could totally cash in on toxic masculinity here. <laughs> like, I uh, would just go and market hair ties exclusively to men, and I'd make, you know, just like a generic guy ad, like, beers, strippers, stuff like that, man hair ties. Uh, but then phase two of this idea is once I get a bunch of, like, dude bros to grow their hair out, uh, we partner with Wigs for Kids and donate all that hair once they realize they look stupid with it. <laughs> I get to oh, cash yeah, no, in on call it bro ties. dumb dude bros and help kids. <laughs> so, so win-win for me. At least. Bro ties like bow ties, but bro ties? Oh, bro ties. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bald as fuck, so I don't like this idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You just look at the bro tie on the table with a sad look in your eye, like longingly, and like sad music I, plays. I look at him like I I came up with a good name for you, but I can never enjoy you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could like put it on my beard. I can still use a bro tie that way. Start braiding your beard. <laughs> so when you wear a hair tie, are you putting it back like in a, like a ponytail or like a man bun? I have a man on it at work because I work in a restaurant, so I can't just you know, have have my hair everywhere. You could do something like a partnership with the men, like the shave club kit or something, mm-hmm. where it's like this very like, you know, hipster. You get a beard brush, you get some some beard oils, mm-hmm. you get some your you your bro ties. Like this very like manly box because people are so into s- subscription boxes now. Like that's that's the new the new way of things. You can about- have like different uh, materials. Like, oh, this one's made out of duct tape, and this one's made out of uh, zip ties, like manly stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking also, like, I'm going to partner with something just to hit, like, the biggest dude bro population, like, you know, comes free with a pack of Natty Ice or something. I don't know. There you go. There you- <laughs> yeah. And it makes a good uh, weapon. It has to be a good, like, slingshot thing to, like, prank your bros at the frat, whatever. <laughs> You can tell I'm such a bro by the way I do the bro speak. You're really good at shooting that like paper wasp thing. Remember that from high school or is that just me? Paper what? It's like a paper wasp. You basically fold a piece of paper over a bunch of times and then shoot someone with a, you know, like you pull it back on a rubber band and shoot someone oh, with it. Yeah. Yeah. I've, we've, I've done that. Oh, I've just never called it that. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you're not a bro. You never bro down before. Yeah. I was too busy making like cootie catchers, like, you know, pick a number, pick a color. You're going to marry this person. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Oh, you, you were the, one of the girls that never talked to me in high school. Oh, That's who you were. damn. <laughs> I was on Quiz Bowl, man. I was not that cool. I was not that cool. We may have talked then. There you go. See, see, I used to carry dice in my purse and magic cards. Talk to someone I went to high school with. That is true. I was a friend. I, I was still a friend. walk around with dice and magic cards. Wow. I just have the dice game. still. I just have the dice. I don't have magic cards anymore. Yeah, I did quiz <laughs> bowl and marching band in high school. You know, I played the tuba, so I was just killing it. Ooh, yeah. All the ladies. It's not the I nerdiest was a drummer, one. So I was pretty cool, not to brag. Tuba's less nerdy than, like, the clarinet or the recorder or whatever. I played the saxophone. Sax is cool. Yeah, not sure I know cool. the difference. Yeah, saxophone is a cool kid instrument. You're, yeah. you're not <laughs> saxophone was like I was going to be in jazz band, but I wasn't that good, so I couldn't be. It was kind of my thing. Uh, I played bass in no. jazz band. All so right. I was the least cool person in the jazz band. <laughs> I was a bassist in a screamo band, so I was also pretty cool. Wow. You're listening to the Podcast Detroit Network. Visit www.podcastdetroit.com for more information.